Okay, here we have a north up ice formation. You can see the 42.5 degree centrifugal bubble of water that does not want to freeze at the bottom. So this is north up. You can see the exact gyromagnetic precession of the frozen bubbles at the top. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me turn it around here so you can see it. It's extremely apparent that even though I'm using the same size magnet as a smaller container, the fact that the smaller container had a smaller amount of water in it means that the reaction of the water to the magnet is proportional to the volume of water which is under influence of the magnet. It's hard to describe all the layers of perfect geometry in this, but it's unbelievable bubble. It's exactly as I predicted. Now, lift it up. The magnet always uh, raises itself up as it tries to create uh, its dome shape. And it creates a very interesting dielectric or inertial plane around the magnet. You can see it here. Not the dielectric inertial plane, but the uh, 42.5 degree angle as the uh, water froze and froze into this perfect, perfect centrifugal vortex pattern. You can actually see the uh, jets over here. Let me illuminate them right here, right along here. the wispy dielectric you can always see where it is going because it has an extremely unique appearance just like Lichtenberg figures exactly like that and something else of note the way it actually causes the molecules to adhere the north end of the magnet, the ice, anything north of uh, the north end of the magnet, adheres so tightly that when it goes to melt, it takes forever to melt. It is hard as a rock. You cannot even dare chomp on it like regular ice because it will break your teeth. Look at these rings right here at the top. Let me see if I can get that correct right here. If you can see the rings going around. There's a vortex after a vortex after a vortex going all the way around in perfect. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, perfect geometry. This is how water reacts to an extremely coherent magnetic object. It has to do with the specific geometry of water, which is 108.36.36, with a uh, reciprocal inverse incommensurability within the geometry of water, where it has a charge radius of 1 on one end, but a special radius of 5, and yet on the other end it has a special radius of 5, but a charge radius of 1. That's why water is the molecule of life. This is the quote-unquote secret that the Pythagoreans killed somebody over for revealing the secret of incommensurability. Here you can see it along the periphery, the dielectric. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Perfect and beautiful. It would be more perfect than this, but it actually, in creating its own perfect geometry, it split the container out and so it fractured it out of its perfect uh, geometrical forming state. The amazing discovery is that, uh, like I said, it's, uh, even though I'm using the same size magnet as I was in a smaller container, I'm using proportionately a lot larger water, and water reacts proportionate to the amount of uh, water that is uh, within the influence of the magnet. So even though I'm using the same size magnet in a much larger container, the water is acting proportional to the volume of water which is under the influence of the magnetism. Here you can actually see 
the dielectric inertial wisps it has a specific appearance right here very very interesting and very understandable how that happened absolutely lovely there you have it the secret nature of water in relationship to a magnetodielectric object or what the common fool calls a magnet before it cracked and uh, disrupted its perfect geometry and freezing it created the perfect centrifugal 42.5 degree centrifugal vortex at the bottom and the same thing but inversely so in crystallization and freezing at the top you see here we have an empty void of water that does not want to freeze but up here we have our bubble formation at the perfect exact same thing we have what we have up here at the north is exactly what we have at the south except inverse here we have it unfrozen in a belt in our belt formation of 42.5 degrees and up here we have a 42.5 degrees of frozen and this is because this is the first time I've actually inverted the magnet to where the north is pointing up towards the sky and the south is pointing down towards the ground which would be attraction towards the earth uh, earth's magnetic north which is located in Antarctica no one has ever seen this before thanks